Welcome back to The Morning Show here on Arise News. In today's world, having a photography style that is unique to you is getting harder and harder to find. Photographer Daniel Obasi has been able to carve a niche for himself with his unique styling and photography. Daniel Obasi's work birthed a certain idealism to Afrocentric concepts whimsical, soft, yet powerfully contr contrasting with sharp silhouettes, colors, and stories. Attracted to old cinema and Afrofuturism, Nigerian-born artist is deeply concerned with advancing the scope of African narratives. He is here today to discuss the importance of photography in fashion. Hi, Daniel. Hi, Thanks Daniel. for coming <laughs> on the show. Hi. Welcome to the Good morning, morning show. Well, wait, first, of all, first of all, I have to commend you because how are you able to balance styling and photography? Well, uh, I don't think it's that difficult to be honest you're saying that you're so modest <laughs> well it's, we i think it. it's because i started as a, i started off as a stylist mm -hmm. first so i think that's one thing about styling that it i don't think you can get anywhere else it, it teaches a lot of discipline it teaches right. a lot of perseverance of knowing how to get things done so thinking on your feet so when i transceded into like um, photography it was kind of very mm -hmm. easy and i just needed a way to capture what I was seeing that nobody else mm. could see. Yeah, that's what I was actually right. thinking. Like maybe you were, you had style people, and then the pictures had yeah, come yeah, out, yeah. and you're just like, well, I don't this want, is not I don't what want, I envisioned. No, but I, I've worked with a lot of great <laughs> photographers, and I still do work with a lot of great photographers. Right. But it was just a certain kind of aesthetic I wanted to create for myself mm. with um, images that I had to um, develop personally. Right. Yeah. So if you were to pick between the two, which would you say you prefer? I'm always, I'm always going to love clothes. <laughs> <laughs> so styling then. Yeah, styling. I would always go back to styling. Okay. okay. And you worked with a lot of brands. You worked on a project for Velisco. Yes, that was very, and that was, it, was very So recent. was it tapping into aliens or what was the theme? Oh, aliens it's called an, an Alien in Town. An That's Alien in Town. Film. Yes, nice. Your short film with Velisco. Okay, yes. what inspired that? Hmm. Okay, so um, as a, when I was contacted by Velisco, so they had like this brief where they wanted to find a way to connect their traditional brand with like the modern millennium, like the younger mm. generation, especially mm. like in West Africa. And I was like, maybe if we created a concept around something futuristic, something that everyone would want to aspire to and cast it using young people, and maybe that would be like a conversation starter for the brand right. and yeah that was how we got there okay right. well we have a clip yeah. i believe let's take of a look the film what's it called the an alien in an town, alien an alien in town. In town. let's take a look How Very this avatar. Ends. Yeah. I want to see how this ends. <laughs> <laughs> now you said I'm um, Tokyo James, and the designer Abiola Olushola was also were also involved in this project. Yes, they um, they were commissioned by Velisco to create like a, a capsule collections mm -hmm. for the lunch. They had like a lunch in Lagos, so we worked with the pieces they produced for the film. 
All right, so you can also add like filmmaker to your resume, right? Yeah, I, I think mean, so. it's like stylist, photographer, <laughs> filmmaker. I think so. And we hear that you're in, uh, you're going to be doing something with Waje soon. I There's already a did. Collab. You oh, already yeah, did. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's uh, it was um, what's it called? It was a shoe, but I can't say much. Sorry. It's not out yet. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but this fashion film is very. It, it's not something that we see all the time. We don't really see fashion films because mm. when we were actually looking at Arise. Um, the list of designers, we were actually looking for films, but a lot of them had lookbooks. So how important would you say a fashion film is for a designer's collection? I, I think it's very important because, um, apart from just the way images look, that you can just see, when something is taking a step further into a video, it's kind of very easy to connect to right, and kind right. of informs people properly about what your brand is, as opposed to them just interpreting of their own understanding. Interesting. Well, how can people follow you? How can people see your pictures? Where can people find you? I am on Instagram, <laughs> and Twitter, no, and you, Tumblr. You, you're actually going to be a part of Arise Fashion Week this week, this year. Yes. It, yes. So I will what, be. what role are you playing? Are you going to be taking pictures or styling? Styling. Styling. <laughs> Love it. Yes, I am. I am going to be styling. Oh, great. Yeah. I think my Instagram is I am Daniel Lovati. Thank, Thank you so you. much for coming Thank on the you. show. Thank you. We're going on a short break now, but don't change that channel because when we return, Kola Oshalusi and Yeti Ogunubi will be here to tell us all about the business of photography conference. Stay with us. <laughs> 